I've placed the playhead over my clip exactly where I want the next element of my video to appear and I want to put some text in here because it's my opening sequence. I'm going to click on the text option here and you can look through all of this stuff. I'm going to choose, uh, where is it? This one here. I'm going to click on that and I've just, it, as soon as I clicked on it, it joined, um, it jumped into the t timeline for me. I can move this around. I can do what I like. I'm going to put something in here. And I'm going to change the size of it. I'll make it nice and big. I want it to slide it here. I want it there. It's use the align tools. It's in the center. I want it to be in the bottom third of the screen. That's good. So that's where I want it to be. I can click on this link and make and shorten the amount of time it's on. So I, what's going to happen when I scroll through? It's going to disappear, and I'm going to have a little bit more of my footage. But I want to add some animation to this. So over here on my text basic, I can click on animation. And there's a whole bunch of these animations you can do. I think there's one head down here called random. So we've got in, out, and loop functions. So I'm going to look on the in. I think it's down here called um, random. That's it. I want to click on random. I've added that. So let's just have a look at this. I'm going to just scroll through this. This is going to come in. Yep, I think that'll do me. And so that's how I've added my text to the timeline. So let's um, just look at our layers now. We can see we've added a new layer. It's above the video layer, so we can see through it. And next we're going to add some audio.